Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Well, as the title of this video says, the first people of the Americas were not the Clovis culture, and now two papers that have been published in the journal Nature have proved it. For many years, the view was that the first people of the Americas entered around 13,000 years ago, but as the new studies say, this should actually be around 30,000 years. The old view was that during the Pleistocene era, Paleo-Indian people crossed the land bridge that connected Northeast Asia and Alaska, an epic journey between 12 and 15,000 years ago that brought the first people to the Americas. But as I've shown in videos in the past couple of years, and as Graham Hancock has shown in his book America Before, and as new discoveries by archaeologists are proving in the field, people were in the Americas a long time before. Clovis I was a theory that reigned supreme from the 1920s to the 1970s, as stone tools known as Clovis points were seen as markers for this so-called first culture. But in the past 50 years, new discoveries have challenged the old view. For example, there was a site in Brazil that dated back 20,000 years ago, and this culture did not have the famous Clovis points. They seem to be concentrated in the north, but not necessarily in the south. So, thanks to a new article on ancientorigins.net, which I've linked below in the description, it breaks down the findings from the two new papers in Nature. The first study dated 42 archaeological sites in North America, using radiocarbon and luminescence dating, and the results showed that humans were present on the continent before, during, and immediately after the last glacial maximum which is roughly dated to 19,000 to 26,500 years ago. The age modelling was combined with genetic and climatic evidence. The study also showed that finds from the Mexican Chicoiti cave are the earliest on their list of sites, dating back to 31,400 to 33,150 years ago. And yes, whilst the study also proves that the Clovis finds do date to 13 to 15,000 years ago, there are certainly finds much older than the ones that contain the Clovis points. Sites that were found occupied during the last glacial maximum include Galt, Meadowcroft Rock Shelter and Cactus Hill, whilst finds in Bluefish Cave in eastern Beringia date between 23,310 to 24,035 years ago. The spreading of the three different cultures identified in the study, the Beringian, Clovis, and Western-stemmed cultural traditions, seem to overlap with the disappearance of animals, meaning that as humans migrated across the Americas, they are likely responsible for a number of extinctions of large terrestrial animals. The second study in the same issue of Nature looks in detail at the finds in the Chicoiti Cave in Zacatecas, Mexico. Apologies if I've said those names incorrectly. They include stone tools, plant remains, and environmental DNA. 1,900 stone artifacts were discovered, and genetic, paleo, environmental, and chemical data suggest that the cave was occupied during the last glacial maximum, with the oldest finds going back to 33,000 to 31,000 years ago. This cave was also repeatedly occupied up to around 13,000 years ago. This cave is 2,740 metres above sea level, which is around 1,000 metres above the valley floor in the Astillero Mountains. The interesting thing about this is that, as stated on ancientorigins.net, the find breaks the pattern of megafaunal kill sites, the open sites and shallow rock shelters. It means the cave occupants were adapted to the altitudes and the mountain landscapes, which was previously unknown in the archaeological record of the Americas. The technology of the stone tools also has no parallel. It is mature technology, and the experts think it was possibly brought in from elsewhere before the last glacial maximum. So, we can now prove that people were in the Americas around 30,000 years ago, and the finds have been published in one of the most respected journals in the world. But what the second of the two studies shows is that human occupation could have been even older. Work will continue, and I'm sure there's more to be uncovered in the future. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. 
If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.